Hello everyone. This is Katie with thelettucepeople.com. Just here today to show you my newest hydroponics experiment that I got going on. Um, show you some new lights I'm running trials on and show you the system all together. Here I am just doing a floating raft system with the water just sitting in the bottom. I have an aeration stone in there. And then these are the LED lights that Philips has come out with, the production modules. And over here I have another floating raft system but I'm using the T5 lights. There's six T5s over here and three LEDs over here on this level. And then down below I am testing out my new creation, um, just doing a f going to do a floating raft down here as well, um, but this is going to be running water. As you can see, I have a reservoir down here that's pumping the water up to this side. Let's get a little closer so you can see how the water is just flowing in and down to the opposite end. I haven't hung my lights down here yet. Um, I've hung the LED lights. So I'm going to have LED on half of it and T5s on the other half just so that I can do a comparison um, to see how well it grows in this environment with the floating raft and the water flowing over the roots. And just show you real quick what I have going on with the lights. Um, these are, this is my T5 fixture. It has the um, six bulbs in it and each bulb is 54 watts. I'll show you the thickness. It's just about the size of my fingers. I think it's probably about the size of a dime in diameter. Um, this is 54 watts each bulb and each bulb has six bulbs for, a, or each fixture has six bulbs for a total of 324 watts. Uh, per fixture, which is actually three times more energy than the LEDs that are using. The LEDs are only using 35 watts per strip um, for a total of 105 watts for the same amount of area that the T5 is using 324 watts. Um, only a couple minor complaints um, with the two different types of lights. The T5 I'm flush mounting everything and the T5 didn't come with a way to do that so I had to create these L brackets. Um, but the nice thing is that the T5s can be daisy chained together whereas the LEDs cannot. Um, the only issue that I had with installation of the LED lights and it's just a minor issue is that it didn't come with a plug. I had to purchase a plug and uh, install it myself, which I had never done before, but it was actually surprisingly simple to do. I just, you know, connected the black and white wires inside the plug itself and plugged it in and it works fine. So hopefully I didn't make any mistakes in that process. Hmm. But in general, um, we're going to be running a trial, like I said, on the lights and the new system to decide, you know, do I like the floating raft system with the stagnant water better than the flowing water or vice versa? And do I find that the LEDs do just as nicely as the T5s because I would, you know, obviously much rather run LEDs all the time than the T5s because it literally uses a third of the energy. I'm trying to cut down on energy costs in general. That's why I'm t testing the boxes of floating um, styrofoam with just the stagnant water so that I could, you know, use less energy when I, you know, upgrade to multiple systems. But I will check back probably another week or two and then I'll have the system planted and um, everything running and I'll show you an update on the progress of how things are going. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you get a chance, please subscribe or check back. Um, I have The Lettuce People on Facebook and thelettucepeople.com. Thank you.